Mbote. Hi, I'm Rama, and it is with Zola that I continue with you this series called The Bumuntu. In the previous program, we saw that we have a huge work to do on critical minding, that there are indeed experimental methods that have nothing to do with scientific methods. That tradition, our ancestrality, teaches us malembe, malembe, slowly, slowly, pangi. Check the information, always. We can no longer, we can never again accept because it is being published. Mm -mm. When Westerners are getting into debates, whether we have been on the moon or whether we have not been on the moon, oh, come on. You know how it is, scamming. But this is only breakfast. Yeah, people. People will publish articles all around the world in top journals, articles with sheer nonsense. So today, I have something else to show you so we can wrap up this theme entitled Get Informed. For you, my English viewers, thank you for your understanding as you try and access these findings within the English context. For the purpose of this video, much of the images used are taken within the French context, but you can surely find their equivalents in the Anglophone context, all right? Okay, now check this out. Screen share. Dear Pengi, here we have the Figaro. The Figaro is a French magazine. So here, Figaro Santé publishes, read with me, half of the scientific studies relayed by the media will be refuted one day. They explain that it's all pure and sheer nonsense. Researchers from the University of Bordeaux have checked if the scientific studies that made headlines are still valid, and they discovered that no. In fact, one study out of two is invalid. Mm -hmm. Amazing, dear Pangi. Really, think of our moms here in Senegal, for instance. They live their lives. How many of their generation are scientifically literate for whatever that means? They trust science, but science is a scam. And even when they say one out of two, they're being nice. You understand they're being nice, right? Because they're pangi. Behind everything, there are spirits. There are worlds. Okay? So let's continue. According to a scientific study, scientific studies are not reliable. Yep. American researchers have reproduced a hundred studies to verify them. Results? Less than half. Less than half. Mm -hmm. More than half do not give the expected result, but it has been published. And people are learning. Oh, my child goes to university, huh? Come on, <laughs> are you talking to me? Rama, Pangi, save yourself. Hmm? Really? Yes, save yourself. You're talking to someone from the Kimunto school. Because at the Kimunto school of initiation, we cannot swallow things like that. Your daughter goes to Harvard? Great! But I inform you that 98%, more than half of what she learns is not verified. It's complicated. Look, what Einstein didn't know yet, and yes, dear Pengi, they made a documentary about Einstein. Einstein, the nice guy. <laughs> Einstein, he was our grandfather. But hey, there is what he didn't know yet, the name of the documentary. They go further, look at what Einstein plagiarized from French research. Mm -hmm. Boom. Dear Pengi, Albert Einstein, you got to follow this. Look at this. Einstein scam on Poincaré's relativity. He was an American scientist, but oh well, when I tell you about he was an American scientist, you understand what the VIP scam is now. All right, Albert Einstein, a crook. Yes, yes, a crook, according to what they show. In fact, he worked in Switzerland, in Bern. I don't know where exactly in Switzerland, but he worked in a place where he read, where he had access to patents of inventions. Einstein's job was to read patents of inventions. Many people don't know that, except that he was a physicist. When he was earning money, he was working as someone who was reading patents, and there he supposedly came across the patents of a certain Mr. Poincaré, who is French, and this Mr. Poincaré, his work, well, Einstein is going to copy it, supposedly, and he's going to publish it. And the web goes all mad. The video is online. Take the time. It'll push you to see far, far. It can be stressful too. So the person who made the documentary went to France. He made this program to explain that in fact, 
Einstein did plagiarize Poincaré. But be careful, this is not revisionism. Mm -mm. Everybody is just not aware of the fraud, that's all. But what is the fraud? Einstein plagiarized the whole theory of relativity of Jules Henri Poincaré. Even the term relativity was stolen. And here we go. They steal everything, these Jews. And you see how far and where this goes. So anyway, what I'm going to recommend is go listen. So what did I do? I went to look for this famous Poincaré. Because I was told about Poincaré. What is that? I didn't know him. And I was baffled. Because there are books that I discovered. Books published by Poincaré. The documents of Poincaré that already speak about relativity. But the boss of relativity today, it's, well, it's Albert Einstein. Because there are people who talk about it on TV. <laughs> the Pengi, oh, TV. We are scammed, dear Pengi. We can no longer fall into traps of such scams. That is why Nswadi, who founded the Kimuntu School of Initiation, wanted to start with all of his heart this new course, the Bumuntu or the Ubuntu. For all the Pangi of the school, you, dear Pangi, the senior ones, as well as the new ones, so you can touch these perceptions that the ancients had. So here you are, dear Pangi, much, much to think about, because the work has just begun. During the next two weeks, we will review what we have seen in the course one of the Bumuntu one, part one, because before starting the course two of the same part, you know that this introduction will allow us to already understand that, oh my, Rama, what's coming here is unbelievable. We're going to touch the Bumuntu gently, calmly, and the goal is to change ourselves, change our perception, change our reality. All right? Mautondo Mamingi, see you next time, dear Pangi. I'm Rama, speaking to you from the land of our ancestors, all the way in Senegal. Listen to the voice of Africa. Jurejef Matondo, and see you next time. Zola.